my phone was acting up, and even with the correct, like, YouTube settings, it wasn't doing the correct orientation, which is very annoying. So, I'm live, actually, now, and I need to delete the old one that says I'm live, which, because that's not true. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. That was very, very annoying. So, I... I don't think anyone's on yet, but I am live. In case anyone is joining, hello, my name is Brennan, and today I will be using lunar and solar pastes together. So I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> We're gonna see. I have a couple of things I wanna do with the solar paste on its own, and a couple of things um, I wanna try with them together. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. Also, let me pull up the live on my computer just so I can read the comments much better. Okay, there we go. So, First off, I wanted to try the solar paste on craft color cardstock. So I want to do this with the crocodile tears color. And let me pull out a stencil. I'm going to be using the Geo Circles, just like in my video laying stencil from Simon Hurley. Of course. <laughs> Who else is it going to be from? And I'm going to use actually the same thing that I use in my video because I really like the circle side. So I'm just going to put that down. I need to grab my tape. Where is my tape? That's a very good question. Okay. So I just want to tape down my paper to my stencil. I'm going to try to line it up the best that I can. And I'm using the um, pixie tape. This is the tape or like non-stick tape that I've always used and I've loved it. I've never had an issue with it ripping my paper at all. Okay, and I also, I found the, found my tools. So I'll be using the Simon Harley tools. And if you haven't seen solar paste yet, it's really cool. So in here, it looks white, just white. And you might be able to see a little green shine, I'm not sure. But on black cardstock, oh yeah, right there, you might be able to see the, no, eh, maybe a slight green shine. So on white cardstock, you get that really, really slight shine. But then on black cardstock, you get a very deep, true to color shine. So I wanna see what it looks like on craft. I'm hoping for like a, pastel so you will be watching this live as i react well i don't think anyone's here but in the replay you all will be watching this live as i react oh someone is here okay so two two i think i need to put on a little more paste hello to the people who just joined how are you doing so we're just okay yeah it is giving like a pastel I did not put down nearly enough. It's okay. Let's put down a little more. So if you don't know, today Simon Hurley came out with a new paste called Solar Paste. And it's similar to Lunar Paste in its texture, but not the way it acts. So on black cardstock, you get a very true-to-color look, almost like Solar Paste. But then on the white paper, you get the very, very... It looks almost white, and then in the light, you can see the shine of the color. Okay, I think this is good. So now what I'm going to do is just peel back my stencil. I hope to not 
you win it. Okay. So I'm really careful because I don't want to smudge my. And yup, that's like a pastel. And I know, see, this does not transfer well on camera, and I don't know why, because on camera it just looks white to y'all. Ugh. But I will say, in real life, you can see the slight green shine to it. So this is slightly darker than what it is on um, on white cardstock. This is on craft, as you can see. I don't know why that doesn't transfer well on camera, at least for my camera. It's very annoying. Just trying to get the excess paste at the top off without smudging the rest, okay. Okay, so here's the finished panel. I'm just gonna put this off to the side for now to dry. Okay. Now, it's time to clean up before my next one. Because what I want to do is try to get like a mixture between, not, actually, not a mixture between solar and lunar, because that's not what I'm trying to describe. But you'll just have to wait and see. But I will, in a couple of, once I clean up this mess, and the, I will say, this is not, hi Sarah! Also, everyone, sorry that it took me so long to get live. My phone was not cooperating with me. It's like doing tons of weird things instead of going live. Hi, Michelle. Also, I'm going to keep saying this until literally the minute my first class starts, but at Butterfly Reflections, Inc., tomorrow, June 10th, I will be doing a class there. It's going to be really fun. We have, there's quite a few people actually signed up already, and there are still a couple of spots left, so if you're in the New England area, sign up, but we can't be found. I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, this needs, I think, just a little water. And it might be stupid, because I'm going to go back in with a wipe, but... I don't know, it's just what I want to do. This is going to be another video where I go through quite a few baby wipes. That is okay. So basically, I'm trying out, this live is essentially, I'm not probably gonna make a card necessarily, it's just trying out things I wanna try it. Doing things I just do in my own time for a video, and I'm just recording it to be honest. So you may see a couple of these pop up in a future video on solar slash lunar. Gosh darn it. It's mm, it's probably because I don't get the best service in my craft room. Let me see. Yeah, so I probably can't do anything about that. Sorry y'all that the sounds bad. I don't even know what it would be off of. That's kind of weird though. Oh well. It probably has to do with the connection though. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a black. Well, technically, this is slightly larger than a. Well, see, my card fronts are four by five and a quarter. This is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So yeah. Um. But I wanna. Actually, that was stupid. I was thinking, let me blend them together on black cardstock. No, that's not going to work because it's just going to look similar. So let's grab a white card front. I wasn't thinking on that. Those are card faces. Card front front in. Uh, I can't think. Okay. So what I want to do, I should actually probably go into the solar first is put some solar paste in the middle. 
see. Ah, why? Okay. On camera, okay, you might be able to see a... Yeah, there we go. The slight purple shine. But on black cardstock, it would end up looking basically just like the lunar piece. I'm not going to add too much solar, because, or lunar, because it's going to overtake the, um, solar. See, it's, I'm going to mess up tonight, I promise you, with the names. So sorry, Simon. <laughs> it's just, they're similar, they're both have to do with, like, space. So I will mess up, just beware. So if you hear me calling sol solar piece lunar, or lunar piece solar, my apologies in advance. Okay, so we're gonna try this now. I'm just gonna turn it. This in camera, kind of. I'm gonna like go up and down maybe. Because, ooh, okay. Ah! See, this is my process. I mess everything up. Pee. <laughs> okay. Not necessarily what I wanted. Yeah, no. Uh uh. But. Hmm. Okay, I just want to see how this. Okay, wait. This does look really cool because there's a purple shine throughout the entire thing. But. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna do something a little cool. -poo and grab a brayer. Also, this live is gonna be kinda short, FYI. So I have a brayer. Actually, I just wanna try to, I'm also almost out of card friends, so when I'm out of card friends, the live's over. <laughs> nope, okay, that did not really work. It's... Okay, I'm gonna just, don't tell Simon, but I'm mix. I love how I keep saying don't tell Simon. What is he gonna do? <laughs> okay, I'm putting this all back in the Lunar Praise jar, because it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Or like it explodes, because of a chemical reaction. Oopsies, it's... I'll just mix it in slightly so the... Okay, it's fine now. See? Totally. He totally looks normal. No one would ever know there's solar paste in there. Unless they... Shh. I know. I know. I'm bad. But see, you, you totally can't tell. See, watch this video. Don't mind me, just cleaning. Yo, soy loco. <laughs> I need more wipes. Okay, that's clean enough. Also, I am actually really close to running out of card fronts, so I'm not joking when I say when I'm out, I'm done. It does, yeah. It, I'll clean it all off later, but actually probably not later. It'll probably be like next week, to be honest. But, no, it'll get cleaned off at some point in time. And that's all that matters. Because I don't know when I'll be able to create again. Because <laughs> I'm teaching my class tomorrow. And I'm basically all prepared for that. So I'm gonna do one more little thing, which is cutting card bases. And then Sunday I have a parade to go to. So I won't really be able to craft on Sunday. And then finals week. So I won't really be able to craft all week. 
So this might not get cleaned off until next Saturday. But hey. Life happens. I know. So Sarah, I ended up... I think... It's... Nine spots, I think I filled? So, it's... I think each class could have held 12 people. Realistically, I knew that wasn't going to happen because it's my first class ever. But I'm very happy with the five in the first class and nine in the second. Okay, let's try this. Okay, um... I forgot the effect that that gives. Well... It's, it, it's, it, it's doing something. It, it's, 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 hmm. It, it's trying its hardest. That's about the best I can say for it. Um, well. I mean, the shine will be pretty. Ah, uh, gosh. Okay. Ah, ah, oh, 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 okay. I mean, it does have a very nice shine. See, I'm, I am Schmel, actually, if you didn't know. I am Schmel. Okay, we're gonna put down another card front. Yes, I'm wasting them, probably, at this point. Ugh. Okay, let me just... No, that... Actually, I'm gonna keep this, because this is basically shimmer paper. I'm actually gonna go over it with this. Just to flatten it, kind of. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my finger, actually. And just buff it all out. Because this will be a nice, like, piece of shimmer paper afterwards. Kind of. Nope, okay, we're just gonna... This is not... <laughs> On okay, let's do it. Water. Water. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. Actually, this is kind of giving me the effect I wanted, so. One in doubt, add water. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. Well, it, it's very shiny, I'll give it that. Okay. Simon's gonna be like, run in, what? Insert, do it now. <laughs> He'll say he likes it. C Cause he's, he's too nice to say that it was a horrible video, and that you had no idea what you were doing. <laughs> but you know what, I'm experimenting. This, this wife has gone through so much. This wife has survived the great solar lunar wars of 2023. It is fun, except I've had plenty of time to experiment. Well, actually, that's kind of why I've had the patience for a while, but I have not really had the time. But another thing that I want to quickly share is that I have a guest design coming at the end of this month. Can't say who. Can't say exactly one. And then, let's say I have a couple of other ones sprinkled throughout the summer. So, expect some 
cards for me with that actually look very good because huh, I need to impress companies. Because if you don't know, my goal has been for a while to get onto a design team. And I'm currently over three. It's looking like it's about to be over four because I just applied to another one and I think the deadline's tomorrow for them to get back to you. But you know what? That's okay. Just because you don't get on a design team or get something you want does not mean you're the perfect, not the perfect candidate. It just means at that time, there are people who are slightly better than you. But that doesn't make you mean you're bad. That doesn't mean you can't try again. I have been cleaning this for like five minutes now. My Half of my life is literally going to be cleaning. <laughs> there is one more thing I want to try though. And then I think I'll be done. So it's going to be a very short live. Usually, usually, actually, no, I want to do one more thing after that. The thing that I just had in my head. You know, we're we're going to call this clean because you know what? I can't clean no more. I need like soap and a paper towel to be honest. The wipes really aren't cutting it right now. <sighs> okay. My hands are just gonna be shiny. Yeah, my hands are. I don't know if you can see, but my hands are really shiny right now. Oh yeah, this one's even worse. Yep, just shine, shine, shine. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this next one. So give me two seconds. Okay, so I'm grabbing some Nouveau Chalk Mousse. I don't, okay, this is, what the heck did I do with this? Well, this looks destroyed and it clearly is. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of this. Ooh, gosh, okay. This needs to be mixed up a little. Pretty sure I got this on clearance from Tonic, so that's probably why it looks like this. It was probably like about to expire or something. Not sure though. Okay, so I'm gonna put enough of this to get like a kind of cool-ish looking background. This is like all of it, you know? Okay. Yeah, something feels wrong about that. I might have been storing it wrong, to be honest. I probably was storing it wrong. So now, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna do actually overheated solar paste. I'm gonna throw a little in here. Cause I just wanna, cause I know with lunar paste it would color it, but I just wanna see what would happen. This is like, uh, this isn't even me making a background. This is me just testing out what's gonna happen. Because the soul, oh, okay, this is like melting. I think a better ex example of this would have been to try it with the, um, ah, okay, fingers, fingers, it's, would have been to try it with the, um, whatchamacallit, crackle mousse, because that has completely different properties than the chalk. I don't even know if this is going to work, to be honest, y'all, but we're just having fun. Okay, this is, act this is my last card base. So after this, I actually kind of have to be done. Okay. What? Oh, y'all. Okay. I kind of have to do this over here. <laughs> I do like how the chalk mousse comes out, because it, it's slightly different than the... Well, it is different than the lunar paste. It gives a much different effect. However, I don't think the shine, yeah, that color is completely gone in there. It's just white. 
Like this is like as you can see, there's still a shine, but it's not orange. Let's test it on the black. I'm just gonna screw up all of this. Oh, I see it a little. Okay. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> you know what? It's I know why. It's because the any solar piece that's actually touching the black is completely covered by the rest of the chalk. Thanks, Sarah. Good night. So, I failed. <laughs> ah, I mean, I can have fun with it. But thank you all for watching my incredibly short live. No, wait, I want to do one more thing. Nope, I lied. I lied. It's not over. The show ain't over yet, people. Still gotta deal with me for a couple more minutes. Okay, let's get into the trash. Into the trash. Okay. Yes, I typically recycle if it's only paper. Don't worry, I'm not trying to kill the environment actively. Oh my gosh, I have wait. Look at my fingers, y'all. I mean, it shows that I was having fun, you know? Maybe, but I'm kind of doubting it, to be honest. I'll look at it later. So, like, if it shines, I'll give you an update on my Instagram. Then I'm really thinking it won't. And also, I understand why it's not. That's obviously... Putting it with movable paste is not solar paste's intended purpose. Its intended purpose is to go directly on a cardstock. Uh, okay, this is gross. Hi, Sylvia. It is fun to experiment. And like, as I was saying earlier, like I know some of this stuff's not working, but I have never tried any of the stuff that I'm trying currently. So that's why. It's not because solar or lunar paste. I am never even Oh, I did use lunar paste. It's not because either of them are bad. It's just because I'm experimenting to see what works and what doesn't. It's really that simple. So don't go out and be like, Simon, your new paste is horrible. It's not. It's amazing. And I'm not just saying that because he sent it to me. I'm saying that because if you use ink under it, yes, I still have tape on this from the other night. If you use ink under it, you get that really cool shine on white. But it's still... It, it gives it blue. So I ink blend it on... If you want to see how I did this, go watch my solar paste video, my actual one. I ink blend it and then put the beluga paste on top. And even though it's on white paper, it gives off a really cool shine. It looks like... <laughs> looks like I'm like a stone statue decaying. <laughs> okay, I think the first one I did tonight should be dry by now. Let me check. If it's not, then we're done. Uh, okay, it's not really dry completely yet. I could run it under my heat gun, but I kind of have that packed away for class. So, I'll s can you see, y'all, ah, why does this not work? My camera sucks. <laughs> see, I'm trying to get you guys so you're able to see the green shine, but you can't. Ah! Okay, that wasn't fully dry. That almost ruined it. I did, I saved it. But I will show you a card that I'm working on. That I'm going to use that as a background for. Um, where is it? Hold on. Because I did a couple of... Where? Okay, there it is. It's over here. A little sneak peek. Okay, that's enough peeking. But... I do unfortunately have to say goodbye just so I can finish prepping for this class, wash my hands, and clean up my craft room. So thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go check out my solar paste video to watch it slightly more in depth. In depth. And then I would suggest watching Simon Lee's video and then also Artist's video on it because Artist is very realistic about if you haven't used this before, this is what's going to happen. And she was experimenting as well. So, go watch my video, Simon's video, and the artist's video. But, yeah, I think, and Romero Card's video. 
I haven't watched his yet, but I know it's going to be good. But I just want to say bye, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you didn't get to watch the whole thing, you can go back and watch the replay. And then also go watch any of my other videos that you haven't watched yet. Happy crafting.